Hey Libras, welcome to May 2019. Okay, so you know that really annoying earth sign in your life, that Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, who is just so grounded, so rooted in reality, um, very down to earth, but almost too realistic and totally goes against your ideas and your fast moving brain. Uh, this earth sign is a soulmate. Okay, so this earth sign is actually bringing up a lot of karmic um, energy, a lot of karmic memories as well, because in a past life, you guys were switched. It was an opposite situation, whereas you were the really grounded one and they were kind of like the lofty dreamers who had all these ideas and just wanted to implement uh, new ideas, and new plans. But you were their stopping force. You were the one kind of saying, hold off, you know, chill just a little bit. And now May 2019 comes in, it's bringing in that Taurus energy because it is Taurus season. Um, and it's really reminding us of that karmic experience when we were the grounded ones, when we were the ones kind of saying, hey, that's not realistic enough. So if you're having some issues with that annoying earth sign who's just so grounded, who's just the one kind of saying, no, you can't take that leap of faith, you can't take that risk because they're projecting their own insecurities, remember that in a past life, in some sort of karmic experience, you were the one being their stop. Um, so this is actually an excellent way to grow, right? Because now you're seeing it from both angles, from both sides. So May 2019, Libra, is all about a risk, some sort of opportunity, some sort of leap of faith that is going to come in and it's going to feel like you have a split second reaction. Like it's it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a big risk. Um, it's something that, like I said, goes against what a typical earth sign would say, don't do it because it's too risky. But let's get real. Risk equals reward. Okay. Um, and this risk in particular, I will get to the outcome of it. But this risk in particular actually is a good thing, is a very, very good risk. The obstacle in the A Libra is feeling very pinned down. So you needed this feeling of being pinned down by this earth sign in order to make you realize how much you want to let go, how much you want to take a risk, how much you want to just be free and un uninhibited, right? But this is also holding you back. So you need this energy of feeling pinned down in order to remind yourself that you feel pinned down and you want to break free, but feeling pinned down is the reason why you can't break free. And then when it all is said and done, Libra, um, subconsciously, a lot of the lack of risk taking, a lot of the fear of, of uh, taking a risk or taking a leap of faith is stemming from this king of pentacles, okay? So if this isn't an actual person, another Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, masculine energy in your life, you're going to find that it's just something that you've embodied. It's just your own restrictions, especially if it's Capricorn um, energy. When you think about Capricorn, they're ruled by the planet Saturn. And if you guys are, are over the age of 28, you know what happened around 28, 29. That was when Saturn went, uh, you had your Saturn return and it was like putting the brakes on everything in your life. That's essentially what Capricorn energy does. Puts the brakes, says, well, hey, I'm father time, time I'm authoritative. Um, I'm kind of in control of you. And I say, you need to slow down in order to make sure that you have um, a positive return on this investment. So this is all beneath the surface, this earth um, earth sign energy kind of saying, no, you have to be responsible. You can't take this risk. You got to kind of cool your jets a little bit. However, Libra, you've gained so much strength over this past year, over these, these past couple months since 2019 began, you gained so much strength that you don't need this anymore. You don't need this subconscious energy of uh, subliminally telling you that you're restricted, subliminally telling you, hey, that's not responsible. You got to get more serious. You can't you know, take a leap of faith. You don't need this energy anymore because you've gained so much strength that you realize now that you're your own authority, right? Okay, you're thinking that you want to be like this. You want to just be independent, financially independent. You want to just feel a sense of completion. You want to just feel like you can, you finally have your life together. Like I'm seeing a staple, you know, finally have like something um, to bind you when it comes to your goals, something to uh, grow with, something to really give you something else to work on. Like it's it's a nice project. Um, you know that you've been slow and steady with this. Like I'm seeing a snail. You've been very, very slow and steady when it comes to your progress. And now you're ready to just be like, I'm ready. If you guys watch Netflix, there's a, a show called Selling Sunset. And it's just all these 
empowered women who make their own money, who, you know, are dressed to the nines, who are just so successful. There is such a difference in a woman, especially a woman who makes her own money, who makes a lot of it, who is successful. Nobody's telling them anything. They are a force to be reckoned with because maybe this is just my personal opinion um, and what I've seen and experiences with a lot of the women in my life. Um, a lot of the times we'll give our power away by saying, okay, uh, my husband takes care of the bills. My husband takes care of the finances. And you really don't even know what's coming in and what's coming out. I'm totally guilty of that. Like I just pretty much sign my checks over to my husband. And that is actually signing your power away, giving your power away. So now this month, we're really going to start to see, okay, let's stand on our own two feet. Let's be that force that says, you know, I don't ask permission from anybody. I do what I want to do. I spend the money I want. I spend the power I want. I do what I want when I want to. Um, and there's nobody telling me no, except for my own better judgment. So that's really um, the energy that you guys want to embody this month, which is great because you have the strength to do that. You've been got, you guys have been kind of in a little bit of um, a transitional period right now, trying to really balance out every aspect of your life. So Libra energy, of course, is all about that balance. If you're not happy at work, you're not going to be happy at home. If you're not happy at home, you're not going to be happy at work. Um, and it just ends up flooding our entire lives. Um, if we're imbalanced in just one spot, we really need to find that sweet spot. So that's what we're doing right now is just trying to find that balance, trying to find that sweet spot between, you know, mom, daughter, wife, employee, employer, <laughs> you know, just trying to be the best in all areas. Uh, I'm telling you guys right now, as a Libra, I don't think that balance can be attained. I think that there's always going to be a little bit of a push and pull um, in every area. But at the end of the day, as long as you're striving toward it in a positive way, doing it saying, okay, like I want to be balanced, but I'm not over expecting. I'm not expecting perfection. I'm, I'm still going with the flow, but aspiring toward balance. That's fine. It's when you put a lot of limitations and pressures on other people as well saying, well, husband, you're imbalancing me, so you need to change, you know? It's when we start to impose it on other people and give away our power that way that we can uh, run into some problems. So this month, it's all about finding that sweet spot of balance. Family and friends are gonna need some emotional um, attention this month. They're really gonna be looking at you because of the strength that you gained. This is a huge compliment. If you feel drained by your family and friends because of how much emotional energy you've been putting out, you can say that. You can put those boundaries up and say, listen, like, um, no is a complete sentence, which, you know, that was something I really struggled with, especially when it comes to family um, and friends and saying, listen, I'm not in the mental space right now to take that burden on. You know, my, my husband-in-law just, my husband this morning just said it. He's like, you wake up and, you know, your family just sends you your dreams. And I'm like, yeah, like, it's fine, but it actually does end up being very draining and you don't realize that output, um, especially first thing. So family and friends are gonna need some emotional attention. So just prepare for that and make sure that you're you're ready and you're ready to help them out in that way if that's what you wanna do, as long as you're putting your boundaries up. Hope and fear, the magician card. So you hope for the magic of manifestation, you hope for the law of attraction to work in your favor, but you fear it as well. Because I think last month, especially last month was Brutal. April was brutal, and I think a lot of dark, negative thoughts came in. Um, a lot of worries, a lot of lack mentality, a lot of um, you know crying and like victim mentality came in um, and was brought to the surface because of that seven energy, which is all about inward um, analysis. So now this month comes in, and you recognize the magnificent manifestation powers of this eight universal month in numerology. And you're kind of scared a little bit because you're like, oh, shoot, <laughs> like, I was pretty negative last month. What did I manifest? What's now coming in? So just keep telling yourself to counteract it. You're happy, you're healthy, you're wealthy. A lot of the times, even though, you know, we can get kind of like terrified being like, well, I was thinking really negatively. Now something bad's going to happen because I was so worried. It doesn't necessarily work like that. You have to have a lot of emotional power toward it. That's why a lot of people, when they're trying to manifest like a lottery win or a huge amount of money coming in, it doesn't work. It doesn't line up because they don't truly believe it in their gut. So last month when you were having those negative thoughts, it wasn't a true belief. It wasn't actually down in your gut, in your, um, like in your root chakra. So the possibility of it actually manifesting is pretty slim. As long as this month you're using that manifestation um, energy of the eight month of May to only be talking about your happiness, your health, and your wealth, um, which is something that you can actually agree upon. Because if you're 
first of all, if you're watching this video, you're blessed. You know what I mean? You're on the internet. You're, you know, you have a computer or a laptop or a TV or a cell phone. That alone says that you have some sort of uh, wealth, right? So that's something that you can definitely agree with. Uh, and then you can manifest that. So just this month, especially watch what you're paying attention to, watch what you're spending your money, your time, your focus, your energy on, uh, because it's all coming back times three and just, just, just keep saying, thank you. You know, I, I have a song I sing to my daughter. It's just like, thank you universe. And I just sing it constantly in my head. You know, I'm crazy, but it does, it does work. And you can't really be singing. Thank you universe and be in a bad day. Like it just doesn't work like that. Okay, so the outcome Libra is you're going to keep thinking that these are your goals, that you just want to start standing on your own two feet. You want to just be reliant on yourself. You know, you want to have that stability, especially that financial stability to feel empowered and not rely on anybody else. Because I think this month you're really going to start to see where that power lies and how much of your power you've been giving away uh, to the other person, right? I just saw a meme on Instagram and it was Jay-Z's face with Beyonce's hair and it said, a Libra, once they've um, completely taken over their partner's identity. And that one hit me hard because my husband and I like dress the same now and I was like, oh my God. So this month, it's all about finding our identity, getting our identity back by sitting on our own two feet. What that does, Libra, brings in new money, new power. This is an excellent month for finances, excellent month for power. Make sure what you're doing with that power is investing it back, you know, saying, okay, I have money now. I'm not just going to go squander it. I'm not going to write it over to my husband. I'm not going to give it away to whoever. I'm actually going to invest back into my goals, into my dreams. I'm going to go get my real estate license. I'm going to go, um, you know, take this course. I'm going to go get that reading, you know, something along those lines that just brings it back into yourself. And what that does is it totally empowers you um, and also brings in, a huge focus on this queen of swords. So another air sign like yourself who isn't as grounded as that earth sign, who although the earth sign, you need their realism because it is karmic, you need their realism. This earth sign, this female Libra, Aquarius, Gemini is gonna be able to support you because they understand you in a different way. So be prepared for some sort of opportunity, some sort of leap of faith when it comes to a queen of swords that's going to give you that power surge, that's gonna give you that money, that's gonna give you that uh, feeling of you know independence and financial domination. So this is an excellent month, but please reinvest in yourself. Don't just squander that money away because what you pay for this month is coming back times three. So forget the fast food, forget the, you know, the stuff that doesn't matter. Invest in a positive thing that you want to see an incredible return on investment, okay? Take that leap of faith, Libras. Love you guys so much, and I will see you next month. Oh, and as always, if you want a personalized reading, my details are below, and I use astrology and numerology and all my readings. Love you guys. Bye, Libra.